What is up? What is up? What is up, you guys? It's your girl Najwa. Oh my god, Little Mermaid was so good. Okay, first, before we get into Little Mermaid, if you're new to this channel, please do me a favor hit the like and subscribe button, hit the bell so you know whenever I post a video. Guys, okay, so I need to do my review of this. I've got my tablet here for my handy dandy notes. So, first of all, Hallie Bailey. Oh my god, she did such a wonderful job. Before I just kind of go into it, and you know what, I'll just give the little cast, the cast, not the little cast, but the cast a little nod along the way as we kind of go through the storyline because the cast is amazing. I mean, we've got Melissa McCarthy, we've got Halle Bailey, we've got, um, I, the, the guy who plays the prince, I had never uh, seen him before, but he was also amazing. So apparently his name is Jonah Howard King. We had, oh, Simone Ashley, very interesting. What role did she play? Because she also played in Bridgerton, which ugh, you guys know how I feel about Bridgerton. Herman, Herman Danbury just ruined it all for me. But this is the type of movie that Shonda Rhimes and Netflix should be paying attention to. Um, who else? The queen, the mom, I loved her. Noma Duma, Dumezwini, I'm so sorry if I'm pronouncing that wrong. Um, the guy who played uh, King Triton or King Poseidon, I guess, however you want to say, Ariel's dad, uh, his name is Harvey Bardem. And that's the first time I'm saying his name out loud. So again, if I'm saying these names wrong, I'm sorry. Um, but I know him from, what movie was that that he played in? I think it was with either Julia Roberts or Katherine Heigl. Anyway, we're not talking about those other movies. We're talking about Little Mermaid guys. Okay. Before we get into this, let me just tell you, I know I'm like so on another level right now. Little Mermaid was like one of my favorite movies growing up, literally. Like I had it on VHS, okay? And I used to watch it all the time. It was a part of my repertoire as a kid of like all those movies, you know, you used to watch over and over and over again. And, um, you know, I feel like I cannot talk about this movie review without talking about race. So I'm giving a trigger warning if this is a touchy subject for you. I feel like I can't talk about this movie without talking about good versus evil as well. Um, I feel like this movie is right along the lines of what everybody is talking about about HBO Secession, which I have not seen yet, but I do plan on watching. But everybody's talking about how Secession on HBO is totally just a huge metaphor for what's going on in the political arena and in the US right now. And I feel like Little Mermaid is the exact same thing. I know that they chose, you know, this movie, but I don't think it's just about talking about political agendas, but I think it's just about presenting to the US, but also to the world like, hey, th this is a multicultural landscape of extremely talented, you know, awesome people with amazing skill sets. And we've come together, yes, from sordid history, you know, from the sordid past of slavery and patriarchy and misogyny and, you know, xenophobia. But you've got this film with black people and brown people and white people and Asian people and Hispanic people and, you know, and, you know, Southern Asian people. It, it's just Caribbean people. I, I just absolutely loved it. Um, the scene, the, the, the uh, cinematography was amazing. Um, I love this usage of like a combination of um, sort of in real life, you know, acting, you know, like actual actors, actual scenery, you know, um, combined with CGI. But also I got the sense that there was a level of puppetry and animation that was also involved. So me as, you know, I studied at a liberal arts college and illustration is one of my first loves. So I love the fact that you can basically feel feel the animation and illustrations of the original movie coming to life through, you know, this, this new version of it. Um, what else? Um, I think that, uh, okay, back to the good and evil thing for a moment here. I feel like if you are not a religious person, my, me, myself, I grew up Muslim, but I'm Christian. Um, I, converted in my adulthood which is another story I've talked about it in other videos but um I feel like this movie is totally you know full of sort of this good versus evil trope and we really get that with Ursula I love this Ursula guys 
I really love Melissa McCarthy's Ursula. Um, she is just uh, hilarious. You know, I love the way that, um, first of all, let me go back a little bit. I thought that it was a little interesting, this parallel, because we know that this movie receives so much lashback, so much controversy of people saying, a black little mermaid, how dare they, blah, 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 blah. And you know what? I'm, people have been yapping about this for months now. I just realized the film just came out. So these people are going on and on and on about how it's terrible and they haven't even seen it yet. Um, I think that Ursula versus her brother, King Triton, you know, I, I feel like that's definitely, even though she's a woman, I feel like it's definitely like a Cain and Abel type thing. I think it's showing how right now the dissenting voices in the U.S. are sort of at battle with one another. And um, if you think about the enemy, I know that I'm speaking in religious terms and I'm sorry for my agnostic and atheist friends. I love you too. My husband is atheist. But I feel like sort of that bubbly, watery cloud that appears when Ursula comes. Spoiler alerts, by the way. Um, you know, and it's circling around with her little piranhas and... You know, she's approaching Ariel, but it's so subdued and understated. And, you know, she's like, hey, I can help you. And Ariel's like, no, I don't think I'm going to do that. She's like, okay. And she just kind of disappears. And then Ariel's well, like, well, baby. And she's like, yep, you say something. You know, she's just like, I love Melissa McCarthy. Um, you know, the, the movie just sort of goes through the phases that we know from the cartoon. It's the same thing, you know. We're introduced to Ariel and her family down under the sea. We're introduced to her and her relationship with her little sea buddy, Sebastian, and the other one. I can't remember the name. Um, we also remember the seagull. The seagull in this film is... Also, the music. Oh, I love the music. Um... The movie goes throughout Ariel, you know, introduced to the, the mermaid society down under. And then we see on this sort of colonizers type ship, the prince and all of the, you know, monarchy, courtier people, whatever they're doing on the ship, who knows, you know, probably in real life forging lands that aren't their own for resources and money and stuff. But in this show, it's just a kid's movie, so it's like, it's not like that. But she sees him, of course we know this gigantic wreck is coming, this gigantic storm is coming, the ship is going to be wrecked, and Ariel saves his life. But he doesn't really get to see her, he doesn't get a great view of her, he just hears her voice, you know. And so, of course, we know that she goes down the route of being turned into a human by Ursula, and the only thing that can break it is the true love, the kiss of true love. Um, we move throughout the route of Ariel moving into the castle with the prince and, um, you know, something that I liked about this movie is the queen is also a dark-skinned woman, you know, unlike Bridgerton. I know I keep harping on about Bridgerton, but it just really annoyed me. The one dark-skinned person, the one dark-skinned character we had in Bridgerton was a terrible person, you know, even if, no matter how much they tried to honey up, it up, he was a terrible person, he was an abuser, you know, but at least in, but I think that also comes up with when people try to mix up fiction with fact. One of the most beautiful things about Little Mermaid is that it's fairy tale, you know, and women out there, just remember back to your youth of fairy tales, it's beautiful. Um, but aside from that, guys, everybody was wonderful. The comedic relief from the seagull, from Ursula, um, from, from Sebastian, it just was wonderful. The music was great. It great, gave great memories. I think any kid would be wonderful to see it. I love the multicultural cast. It gave me def definitely memories and vibes of like Cinderella with Moesha, um, not Moesha, with Brandy. Um, and it just, I thought it was absolutely wonderful. I definitely think that they touched into some political context there, but it wasn't too political. Um, if you guys saw it, I would love to know what you thought of it. Did you think it was great? I thought for Haley, um, Halle Bailey's sort of first performance, first sort of like, ah, I'm out here in the world type thing, it was wonderful. She's beautiful also, and she's extremely talented. The, the guy who played the prince alongside her, sorry I keep forgetting his name, um, uh, Jonah. Jonah Howard Kane was also wonderful. Um, I think we, we need to see more movies like this. We need to see more films like this. Just good feeling films, guys. And it doesn't matter if these tropes have been told over and over and over again. The boy who's the girl and da da da. 
that's that's what life is. That's what life is. We're born, we eat some stuff, we find someone, we are with them, we link up with them, and then we die. So if you think movies are going to be repetitive, then, I mean, you're going to miss out on some good stuff because that's what life is. And I love that this movie really captures true love. And it doesn't matter what your parts, what your colors are. That's, that's what this shows, you know. It could be a black woman, a white man, black man, white woman, a Hispanic woman, an Asian man, an Asian man, and a, a black man. I don't know anything. Anything. That's, that's, it's true love. True love always prevails. And I love that. Um, evil. I mean, good will always prevail over evil. I, that's, ah, I loved it so much. Guys, I want to know what you think. Please put your thoughts in the comments. Um, if you're new to this channel, please go ahead, hit the like and subscribe button, hit the bell so you know whenever I post video, and I'll see you next time. Okay, bye. Bye, bye.